Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your one and only Eric on the winning side. Thank you guys for the amazing love and the support that you are showing me. Thank you because of your great support that you are showing me here on YouTube channel, but especially for my followers on TikTok. Guys, I am so very much surprised. The last video that I shared for the first time, I feel so much encouraged. That video is going viral. It's just 2500 plus views already and it's just one week down the line and you know it's a big win for me and i feel so much good that shows that there are people who need encouragement every day there are people who need to feel to listen to encouraging stuff every day and this is your time that you can do something good to yourself and to this channel that you can share this channel you can recommend to your families members call them here let them subscribe can you share this um this content this is what is needed in the world it's not about uh trending with what is wrong but trending with what is right okay guys yeah so very much i feel so much encouraged i feel so much good and even i don't know have i said my name my name is eric yeah and the youtube channel name is eric on the winning side you and me we are on the winning side and you know what we don't have to be so many but let me tell you one thing as much as we bring this gospel to people yeah this good news to people as long as as you are sharing this good news to people just remember that you're reaching more souls you are reaching more people to make sure that they they are reached uh, with wonderful content with positive content something that is going to uplift them and you know what that's what i'm talking about today the words that we speak are they worth uplifting or are they worth stepping uh putting that person down you know are you understanding me that is what we are talking about and i feel so much pumped up for the message today and you know what guys just let's begin on the new chapter today all right? Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to share a story that I read somewhere. But today's story, I'm going to personalize as though it was me in the situation. All right? Yeah. But this story, I got it from... Um, it's one of the guys who lived in the US. So I'm just going to personalize everything so that everything can flow. Are we together? Yeah. Good. Let's roll. So guys, um, there was this friend of mine who was called Kyle. Okay. And Kyle, we met when I was in my primary school. Okay. So we met or how I came to know Ke uh, Kyle, uh, it wasn't in a good situation because the time I came to know Kyle, Kyle was walking on the corridors uh, of the school compound then uh, he was carrying this big um, you know stack of books as he was walking and all of a sudden some three guys who were bully in the school came along and they started bullying this guy they started bullying Ken I mean Kyle after the books everywhere you know they teased him they did everything on him you know how bullies are and they left him crawling for his glasses because he used to wear some glasses okay so he, they left him crawling to find his glasses so at that particular time is when i uh, i decided to act so i went where um, kyle was and i took his glasses and gave the glasses to him and you know what kyle said a big thank you by this time kyle was already shedding tears you know because there's this fear that is flowing through him then after um, uh, after we after that incident we decided that you know what let's go home because by this time it was home time so i and kyle we are walking down the streets to our homes so i realized that kyle had just come from a private school into a public school and something wasn't right about him so uh, I asked Kyle will you mind to come uh, for the weekend we hang out together okay so the next day was a weekend because on this particular day was a Friday so Ken comes in on a Saturday and we we spend the whole weekend with him 
so we went we went to watch football um we played games with him you know went to parties with him everything we did we did with kyle and I kept on talking to Kyle and telling him, you know, you don't have to worry about anything, you know. I kept on encouraging Kyle, okay. I don't know why they keep on calling Ken. It's Kyle, guys. So, I kept on encouraging him, okay. So, and that's, that, that's where our friendship grew from, okay, guys. So, throughout primary school, uh, we happened to go in the same high school and later on in the college. But now, this time over, we were pursuing something different, okay. Yeah, so during the graduation ceremony, Kyle happened to be uh, the guy who was to read, uh, to represent all the students and read a speech. You know, they call him, uh, is it valedictorian or something? Sorry, if I get it wrong. Something to do with that. <laughs> so he was the one who he was reading a speech, okay, to represent all the students. And there are some words that he spoke. And he said, that some of us the way you see us today we are who we are today because of the people who picked us up we are we have reached where we are because of the people we have worked with together and he looked at me where i was seated and he said if it was not because of my friend i could not be where i am today that particular time that eric found me when these students were bullying me that day i had carried all my books i had cleared all my closet so that i could go and kill myself i take out my life because i was fed up with this kind of bully every day in my life in primary school so I had cleared everything so that no one will have any, you know, uh, any, uh, no one will know about anything about me. No one will come to clean my closet. I will have made um, everything easy for the, for the people who will have come after, uh, to clean after I'm gone. You know, to take my books, to take everything, you know, the closet was clean. And, and you know, when Kyle was sharing this message here, uh, I looked to where the, the direction where he, his parents were and they looked at me straight in their eyes and they couldn't believe it was a message conveyed for so many years. It was kept a secret. Okay. And this is where I want to get my, my lessons from. I hope the story is home guys. Yeah. Comment down below and tell me whether I'm a good storyteller. Teller. <laughs> oh my God. Teller. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is where I'm going to get my, my points from. You know, sometimes the actions that we take on a deliberate way, yeah? the actions that we decide to take on someone, the time we decide that I'm going to help this guy, the time you decide that I'm going to talk to this guy, I'm going to talk to that lady, I'm going to talk to that man, I can see there's something wrong. Do you know sometimes those actions can mean life or death? Those actions, the words that you speak to these people can be life-giving waters to these people. You could be making a turnaround to a person living next, your, uh, next door, all right? Yeah, because sometimes we are so concerned of our own lives that we forget the person living next to us could be needing our uh, our attention could be needing our encouragement these people are people who are living around us probably your brother is going through hell and you do not know probably your sister your friend at school uh, your friend uh, uh, at the campus you know your dex mate they are going through hell some of them they are ready to take their own life but we are not there to help them guys I want to give you uh, I want to encourage you and tell you that it is high time that we rise from our comfort zone and start encouraging one another. Even it's written in the Bible, let us encourage one another and this should not stop because people are dying with their problems. People are dying every day. 
on uh, having mental issues, you know, uh, depression, you know, they are being disturbed every time. People are locking themselves in uh, in the uh, in their washroom, you know, in their rooms, at the corner of their rooms. They don't know what to do, how to deal with the situation. They are full of pressures of life. And the only thing that some of these people need is not your finances. Could be your word. And that word could change everything in, it, in their lives. For Kyle, his life turned out because of his friend. You know, his friend decided to take the mantle that this will be my responsibility. Kyle will never go through a bully anymore. You know, and it's going to be my responsibility to watch over Kyle. And this time over, they are, uh, they are graduating and Kyle is just letting the uh, uh, spilling the beans out you know letting the secret out that that was his turning point guys how many people have we heard on the news on the current time people who are killing themselves you know people who are taking out their lives you know people who are dying out of pressure you know depression look at our celebrities you know my heart goes out to them you know uh, we know they have been on the stars you know they have been on the spotlight we know they have had their soft part of life but can we not look at that part and look at this other side and just deal with the situation the way it is we help them get onto their feet again because this can mean life or death so actions can mean you're giving life to a person or you're taking life to them your words can be healing words you know can you speak words of encouragement to people who are living near you to people who are around you if you are in the position of power a position of influence do you take time to encourage those people who are under you those people that you see as though they're your subject do you talk to them life or do you keep on stepping on their heads just because you are above them it is time that you start talking life-giving words to them it is time you start letting out the living waters out of you into other people who are thirsty, who desperately need that encouraging word, who desperately need, you know, just that one word. You tell them that you did well. That presentation was awesome. There are people who never see as though they are doing anything, yet day and night they're, they're having sleepless nights, you know, trying to figure out how your project will run through and be successful and you be happy as the boss if you are in the position of influence the position of authority can you take time to encourage people take time to encourage those people who are below you okay you are there for a reason god has allowed you to be there for a reason it's not by your strength it's not by your power it's not by your clever mind it's not by your good looks where you are you are there for a reason Take time to encourage other people. If you are a father, try and talk to your son. If you are a, if you are a parent, you know, generally, try to talk to your children. If you are a teacher, try to encourage them. Some students go, are going through hell. I remember when we were in school, and at times we could go lacking, and thank God at least I never went hungry. But sometimes there are things which were so essential to us but we we went lacking and it reached a point that we got used to try uh, i mean to you know problems you know you get used as, as though you uh, you were born with it now you live with it until this one particular person i went on a seminar somewhere encouraged us and told us that where you are born you did not choose but where you are heading you can choose. You can choose your destiny. You can choose your ending. How you want your ending to be. And this is what I want to encourage each and every one of us. Let us take a deliberate action to encourage those people who are uh, around us. Let us take a deliberate action to be there for people that, uh, you know, they seem as though they don't have friends. They don't have people to talk to. Let us be there for everyone. Let us not be divided by class. Let us not be divided by, by, by riches, by what you have and what I don't have. Let us not be divided. At the end of the day, 
if everything else was taken, we all remain to be constant. You know, we remain to be constant. And what matters is, will you be the same person if your car was taken, if your balance at the bank was taken, everything about you was taken? Will you, be the, will you still be the same person? Let us love to encourage one another, guys, okay? Yeah, thank you, guys. So, guys, that's why I'm going to stop. I hope and I trust that you've been encouraged. This is a time to encourage one another. Share those life-giving words to people, all right, guys? So, until next time, guys, remember to subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.